Hello all, uh, my name is Deep Ranjan. A uh, very good morning to all of you. So today I am going to explain you a project. Uh, actually it is a traffic sign recognition project. It is a image classification. Okay. So for this project I am going to use a data set called German traffic sign recognition benchmark. So it is from Kaggle, I uh, have taken it from the Kaggle and if you can see here it has more than 40 classes okay so it's a multi-class classification problem and uh, uh, they are having uh, more than 50,000 images so we have a huge number of images to train okay so I'm going to use this data set I will uh, provide the uh, link of this data set in the description also so coming to the code okay so here I am using uh, some of the libraries so I'll just give you uh, brief this walk through about that like uh, so we are using here tensorflow uh, one dot x okay and the numpy pandas os and cv2 numpy and the pandas for reading the csv file numpy is for converting images into the array cv2 library we are going to use to view images like reading the images okay matplotlib for the plotting the graph tensorflow then keras these are uh, we are going to use for the, our cnn layers like creating our cnn architecture okay then then images are just uh, to see the images on all that okay train test to split we all know about that dividing our data set into the two parts train test validation these things image data generator so this is a new thing okay so it's uh, it's, uh, it's very uh, like uh, and there is a like if you you have a data set right if you have a couple like images what it this library will do it will perform us like a slight change in that images okay and that images will be taken for the training purpose let's suppose this kind of uh, data generation uh, like this image data generator is used when we have a less number of images for a training so we'll do some slight modification in that image and we'll take that images for the training also kind of a synthetic image right so we are going to use here adam optimizer okay and for the accuracy uh, we are using accuracy score okay so first of all i have assigned here the data set path i have uh, like downloaded the data set and put it into the google drive so this is the location where i have uh, my data is present okay and inside that train and test folders are there okay and for training we are going to use here image height and image width, width of 30 cross 30 okay and the channel is 3 that's we that that simply means the image is of uh, rgb okay so number of categories we are having is 43 and uh, we are just creating a dictionary here uh, 0 for the speed limit 20 kilometers 1 for the speed limit 30 kilometers so same for the all the number of categories like 0 to 42 i think so yeah for created a dictionary for that it will helpful while the training or testing okay so now if you can see here a uh, folder os directory train path so in this one uh, i'm just uh, trying to visualize the data set like how many number of images are present in each class okay so if you can see here uh, this one okay in this uh, dangerous curves left data set we have uh, close to i think 200 images it's a 500 so it will take a half close to that so it's a very very low number of images are there and the very high number of images in the speed limit 50 kilometers per hour so we are just visualizing our data set like how many images are present in each class okay after that we are going to see some random images like uh, whatever uh, what all images are present in our text data set okay so you can you can see here I've just written a simple code here uh, reading the CSV file test.csv uh, okay and after that just loading the path of the test images in the images okay and just uh, like uh, using a matplot function to plot the images 25 cross 25 pixels the size of images should be of 25 cross 25 okay 
take in a data directory slash after that random choice images that images path will be there okay so if you can see this is the image these all these all are our test images okay you can see there so after that we are going to collect uh, the training data okay so for that i have uh, like created a two uh, list one is for image data and another is for image labels okay so uh, we know that we have a cat number of categories present here 43 so one we are iterating through a loop one by one okay and the number of images we are taking the path of all the images present in the training folder okay so after the taking the images from each folder okay we are just uh, reading it here after that converting those images into a array okay then resizing those images into the 30 cross 30 if you okay 30 i have already uh, like uh, mentioned in the above here image height 30 cross 30 okay so i'm just uh, resizing it into the 30 cross 30 that's it after resizing it again i am converting into uh, array then appending in into this uh, list image data same for the label okay appending into that and after that i'm just uh, after appending all the data like converting all the images into array and resizing after that i'll just uh, check how many images are for the training purpose so it's three thirty nine thousand two hundred nine images for the training and the image size is of 30 by 30 and 3 is the rgb channel and this is my labeled one these are the label data set like a y column okay so i'm just shuffling up my training data okay so just simply shuffling okay random shuffling is there dividing our data into train and validation okay uh, and taken a ratio of 70 30 okay image data where all the training images are present image level where all the labels are there y shuffle is equal to true okay a scaling down our data that is x train and x well only all only those well uh, data will be scaled okay after scaling and the splitting the data what are the shape of our data set for training we have taken 27446 and the, for the validation we have taken 11763 images okay now after that we have going to perform some uh, like a one hot encoding you can see here we have a uh, like a y column that is having a value like in between 0 to 43 okay unique values so we are just going to perform a one hot encoding there we will all know about that one hot encoding okay so after that if you can see there uh, earlier the y train well uh, shape was 20, 27446 common that simply means none okay now it is 43 so it has 43 columns now this many number of rows and this many number of columns okay after the one hot encoding now we are going to make our model okay so for that i have initialized our sequential model okay and i have created uh, it's a basic cnn model i have created okay so uh, two convolution 2d blocks are there and where i have used filter of 16 kernel size 3 cross 2 activation function value input shape image height and image width we all know about the 30 uh, cross 30 channels are 3 after that i have used the max pooling layer then the batch normalization just to normalize our data set again convolution layer convolution layer then max pool then batch normalization then after that i have just flattened the layer after this part uh, these are our ann part in an artificial neural network part we are creating a dense layer that's the hidden layer of five 112 neurons okay uh, activation function I'm going to use here ReLU then again batch normalization okay and then drop out use 0 0.5 simply means we are skipping like uh, at the time of training okay 
uh, we are skipping the 50 percent of the neurons okay and the for uh, for uh, like a uh, further iteration for the uh, different batch okay uh, we'll go for the another 50 percent of the uh, neurons in the last layer that's our output layer we are going we are looking for uh, 43 outputs okay so it is a multi-class classification problem so we are using here activation function that is softmax okay we are using here uh, learning rate 0.001 epoch is equal to 30 we are going to use here adam optimizer we are going to compile our model for the in compiling part the loss function that we are going to use is categorical cost entropy we have a multiple class classification problem optimizer is adam matrices wise we are going to use accuracy and image data generator here um, we are using so just to generate some uh, like some more images uh, by doing some uh, like a slight changes into that like we are just rotating rotation range and zoom range just a little bit of zooming so this uh, this augmentation will help us uh, to reduce the overfitting also so it is helpful okay after that uh, we are going to fit our model x train y train batch style i am going to use is 32 epochs is equal to 30 i think i have mentioned there here uh, for validation also i'm going to use x well and y well so if you can train it for 30 epochs it will take uh, some time uh, close to like 30 40 minutes so it will give you a better result also uh, okay. so uh, uh, what i got i got a validation accuracy of 99 percent and accuracy of 99.69 it's same okay so you may say like uh, it's a kind of overfitting model so i'll check with the test data set also whether i'm what kind of uh, accuracy i'm getting so before that i'm just going to save our mo save my model for the future purpose okay and we are, i'm just going to evaluate my model okay so just plotting that uh, what all the uh, accuracy and the validation loss i'm going so if you can see the loss and the validation loss both like a training loss and the validation loss is close to same or close to zero okay and the uh, like a training accuracy and the validation accuracy is close to one like a 99 percent or something okay so now i'm just going to test with the uh, like a testing data set so i got the accuracy of 98.47 so it is pretty close to our training accuracy also training or validation accuracy so we can say that it's not a overfitted model okay so for this one uh, for training also uh, we have to perform some things like uh, what all things uh, like what all pre-processing things we have performed for the training data uh, same things we have to perform for testing also like uh, we'll just reach the data set okay then convert it into array then resize into that shape and size that we are going to we already used in the training okay then again append it append it into the data then rescaling it and then testing then we got the accuracy and these are the classification report okay uh so it, like we have a uh, like a 43 classes right so for all the classes uh, what all precision what all recall and what all f1 scroll we got you can see here i think uh, all we get pretty close to each other so it's an overall good model okay okay and uh, we are plotting some of the test images ah, okay like predicting the images so if you can did something here so here like our actual value is 16 and my, my model is also predicting 16 so it's a good one right and here also actual one prediction one actual 38 prediction 38 so, so it's a uh, it's a good model right so so this is uh, like a uh, fine uh, look we are good to for this video uh, i'll just uh, conclude this video maybe in next part i will try to 
like a uh, uh, do this uh, in, like a uh, this uh, recognition project with a flask one okay so thank you guys for watching this video bye bye